Citation, Bibliography, Shared Folder. Once all the added items have been checked and corrected, you can start working with them. Of course, during writing, you may need additional sources, but if you check their data when you add them, you can use them immediately. Before you start using the Reference Manager in the text editor, check the available reference styles in the Styles tab of the menu. The list shows the most commonly used citation styles and the option to install additional styles will allow you to use any other formats. You may also want to select the option to display the URL for articles even when it is printed. Before using citations in a text editor, you must start Zotero. Then in the text editor select the citation style. You can insert citations in several ways. As the program does by default, or you can leave out the author or add any extra element. You can cite more works in one single reference if needed and also modify each one separately. It is important not to edit to inserted citations and bibliography in the text document until the editing is complete using Zotero only. The list of references can be inserted at any time and can be constantly updated. If you want to change the citation style, click on the options and choose a different one. You can convert the footnote reference style to an index style, but unfortunately not vice versa. When you have finished editing the document, remove the field codes. In that way you can make any other changes you still need to make. If you make a copy of the document before removing the field codes, you will have both versions so you can edit the field codes at any time later. A bibliography can not only be managed within a document, but can also be created independently. To do this, select the required items in the Zotero library, click on them with the right mouse button and then select Create Bibliography from Items. Then you need to select the citation style, language, output mode and method. If you copy the elements to a clipboard, you can paste them into a text editor and edit them if necessary. If you want to create a collaborating group, you can also start it from the Zotero software, but you will also need an online account. Here you can manage groups. When you create one, you need to give it a name and a type, and after that you can send out invitations. You can also access folders created for a group of line, Turn on synchronization in the Preferences menu and then carry out the operation. This will make your shared folders appear in our library. In our video lessons, we have reviewed the most important features of the Zotero Reference Manager system. If you are thorough about collecting bibliographic data, you will find Zotero a useful tool for managing the references and bibliography of your thesis or publication. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your research.